We are all facing social distancing, but now more than ever, we should realize that we are all part of the same global village. We need to work together to make the Earth more sustainable. Tomorrow will be Earth Hour 2020. Today we are having this remote interview with Richie Pong, the CMO of Huawei Wireless Department. So hi Richie. Hi Susie. So actually before our call today, we have already collected a lot of questions online from all our audience. Because as you know, people are all very passionate about this topic, whether 5G is really good for sustainable development. So do you want to start with a tougher question or a easier one? Uh, toughest, sure. Okay, so let's start. Okay, so many of our Twitter followers have been asking, actually questioning, is 5G really good for us? Do we really need 5G? Could you give us some concrete examples that our daily users can relate to in their daily lives? Well, when we talk about 5G, so we have a lot of things like the high speed, wide band. As for the benefits for the society, for the people, in fact, the new technology can firstly change our life and also can bring the benefits for the environment. In Switzerland, we have a customer, Sunrise. We got the smart farm. They are able to get the information of the soil, of the weather condition, of the harvest time. So this can save the labor and save the environment as well. Another case happened here in China. We have a smart water. With the smart water, the engineers are able to monitor the water leakage. That means that as long as they got the water leakage, the operator or the maintenance can react immediately in real time. With the high technology, the efficiency of the industry is improved and the work condition is changed good, better. That sounds really promising. So here's another really direct question from the audience online. So how will 5G affect climate change? Actually, a lot of people have been really questioning about this topic. So let's take a look at the screen first. Hey everybody, here's my question. How does Huawei 5G technology help reduce energy consumption? My question is, how does Huawei have to build green future? Does it increase global warming if you build more base stations deploying 5G? Thanks! So Richie, what do you think? In February this year, during the MWC 2020, for short online, uh, Huawei solution, PowerStar, it's got the award of the GLOMO with the best mobile innovation for climate. We have, have some solution by using the on three levels. We have a equipment level, network levels, and set levels. With all these three levels, we are able to adjust the power, output power, and uh, according to the traffic in each network or each spectrum, even in each cell. So with such kind of uh, solutions, we are able to use the very accurate for some of the traffic. The product will use less component and even the less screws. Besides, all those materials are environment friendly. That means the equipment can be easily to recycle. We are able to get 93.5% recycling rate. And uh, with the green the package, we are able to save 90,000 cubic meters wood. And the third figure is about the 5G uh, services. You mean uh, with 5G, we are able to reduce the carbon oxide emission by 5.2 kilogram per TB download. So by all those methods, we can make our 5G more green. So besides green technology, are there any other significant projects that can demonstrate Huawei's social value? Well, it's a, we, we really have some, the, did have some project. We have it, it's a rural star. This is a site solution. So actually the, the solution are able to provide in the very quick installation for the site in the rural region. And also with the, the cost efficiency 
for the equipment and even for the services. So the people there in some region area where there's no connection, they are able to connect to the internet as well. So we heard that Huawei will be releasing its annual report on March 31st. So is there anything in particular you would like to point about it? So, um, you know, in this annual report, we will recall some uh, work we have done in the year 2019. Solutions or the technologies will be launched. I have the more information in our annual report. We were all really looking forward to this online live streaming. Thank you again, Richie. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Stay tuned to Huawei and Huawei Wireless social media platforms. We will bring you more latest update of the upcoming news.